introduce you to another drought tolerant plant called Nephophia or red hot poker plant. Now there are several different cultivars and so you don't always just get the traditional red hot poker look which starts out with a red flower at the top and as those flowers continue to mature they actually fade to orange and then yellow. So you get three colors on one plant at the same time, which really adds a unique interest into the garden. You can see here there are other um, cultivars on the market. So some of them have more just of yellow or they even have a pinky rosy color as well as a white and cream one um, that you can add into your garden also. Now, Nephophia are great for the garden because um, they are drought tolerant once they're established. As you can see, they've got this kind of grassy-like foliage that's pretty stiff, so you don't have to worry about the wind. Now, these are some shorter ones, but there are some that get up to be about three to four feet in height. But even those stems are going to be pretty self-supporting, so you don't have to really worry about them needing staking or anything like that. The other thing is you can actually cut these and bring these in as indoor um, cut flowers as well if, if you want to. And they're going to continue to bloom for about a week for you. So you get a good long bloom time out of each of those flowers as well. And once they are done blooming, you want to make sure to go ahead and cut out those flowers. Um, otherwise, they will set seed. And by cutting those out, you're going to encourage it to continue putting up new flower shoots as well. Now, Nephophia is, a, again, I mentioned a drought tolerant plant once it's established. So the biggest problem with it, it really doesn't have any disease or pest issues, but the biggest problem is um, having root rot or crown rot. So be careful of that. Um, and if you find that you are not getting as many flowers on it, you might want to plant it in a raised bed or something like that. Otherwise, it's hardy from zones five to nine. So it might be one you want to consider adding into your garden. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.